Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you record your Roblox gameplay on your iPhone or your iPad for free. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is just bring up the iOS toolbar and then just press this record button right here. And it's as simple as that. And this is what I use to record all my videos that I post on YouTube that's on my phone. Also, if you wanna do a voiceover in your gameplay, you're just gonna hold on the record button and then this will bring this up and then you're just gonna select microphone on. Now what you wanna do is just bring the toolbar down and then go into Roblox and play whatever game you want. Also, you can still tell it's recording by this red line up in the top of your screen. So you don't have to keep bringing up the toolbar to see if it's still recording. So when you're done filming your Roblox gameplay, what you want to do is just bring back up the toolbar and press the same button. That will stop it recording. So just also a little tip for you guys, if you want to edit your videos, what you want to do is just go to your iMovie app. It should already be installed on your iPhone. Then when you're in, you press the plus sign and press create movie and then select your footage. And here you can edit your footage. As you can see, the footage in the timeline right now is too zoomed in. So what you want to do to fix that is select your timeline and press pinch to zoom and you can adjust it, zoom in and zoom out, whatever you want to do. And as you can see, there's a lot of extra footage that we didn't need. So to cut that out, what you want to do is just select the scissors icon and then press split. And then just press delete and then that will take out the footage you don't need. And as you can see, it's flipped on its side right now. So what you want to do is just flip it over by using your fingers to flip it the right way. To whichever side you need. And from here on out, you can just do any other edits that you want to do. So when you're done editing, if you want to upload it to YouTube or share it with friends, what you want to do is just press the upload icon. And then what you want to do is just select whichever one you want to upload it to. I'm just going to press YouTube for this tutorial. And here you can edit your title, tags, description, category, and make it when it's uploaded unlisted, public, or private. The only sad thing about it is, though, that you cannot upload custom thumbnails through the iMovie app. If you want to do that, you'll have to do it through the YouTube Studio app, or you're going to have to do it manually from your computer. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't, like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more daily uploads like this. And also comment down below if you have any questions because I reply to all the comments that come in. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.